A very good day to people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to talk about compound rules in uh, Dreamweaver CS5. Let's start. Let me click on the create new HTML button. Okay. Next guys what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this plus button in the styles panel down below which says new CSS rule and um, a pop-up box which says new CSS rule appears. Let me drop down the contextual selector to a compound and uh, guys notice here it says that uh, the compound rule is based on your selection what kind of a selection are we talking about that's the big question we'll soon see that and let me also save this uh, file or the rules inside a new style sheet okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to say h1 colon first letter okay so basically what I'm uh, telling dream viewer is that the compound rule that I'm creating should be saved in a new style sheet and it should apply to the first letter of the h1 element that's my selection okay all right so uh, the next thing that dream viewer wishes to know is the look the name of the style sheet so I'll say my style sheet or oh, whatever okay I'm gonna say save and then let me say that I want the uh, Mm, the first letter of my h1 element to be an uppercase and say ok let's test it out let me type here heading 1 ok deliberately I'm leaving the first letter to be a small case ok the lower case let me select this bit right click say wrap tag and wrap the h1 around it so enter twice 1 2 ok guys as you can see it's the first letter has turned itself to be a capital letter very good let's see what else can we do with the compound rule let me click on the new CSS rules button drop down the contextual selector to be a compound and this time let me say uh, h1 colon and hover okay and uh, basically when my mouse goes over the h1 element how should it behave that will be defined via this uh, CSS rule. I'm going to say OK. And I want the color to turn to, let's say, a hash 900. I'm going to say OK. Let's test the rule out. Let me go to the live view. Indeed, when I hover over heading 1, because of the h1 colon hover compound rule, it turns its color to a pound sign 900. All very good. OK. What else can I do? Let me click on this plus button once again. Drop down the contextual selector to a compound. Okay, this time I'm going to say h1, comma h2, comma h3. So basically, I'm 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 making a compound rule, and uh, my selection says that this rule should be applied to h1 as well as h2 as well as h3. <coughs> okay, this rule will will be saved in the my style sheet dot CSS file file an external uh, style sheet file I'm gonna say OK and let's say I want the uh, font to be at the Homa for my uh, h1 as well as h2 as well as h3 elements and I want it to be a little lighter than normal and let me say OK guys as you can notice that the heading one has turned itself uh, to the Homa light okay even if I were to uh, change the H1 to a H2 or an H3, it still remains the Homa light. Let me reset it back to H1. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, let's see what else uh, I can do with the compound rules. Let me click on the new CSS rules button, guys. This time, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to say. Mm, h1 plus h2 okay and I beg your pardon guys I need to first change the contextual selector type to be a compound and then say h1 plus h2 I'm gonna say okay before I say okay let me explain what it actually means it means that if an h2 element is sitting next to the h1 uh, h1 elements then the rule should get applied only to the h2 element okay so if h2 is adjacent to h1 apply the rule only to h2 let's see how I'm gonna say if uh, an h2 is next to an h1 let the color of the h2 then be mm, how about a pink color let's say okay and let me then uh, put a h2 tag uh, next to h1 so let me go to the code view guys 
let me first crunch this area okay all right let me s type some text here so I'm gonna say h2 and uh, heading to close the tag okay click in the design area and indeed if uh, an h2 element is next to an h1 element it turns itself pink all very good all very nice and all very easy guys okay uh, what else let me click on the new CSS uh, button once again and uh, let's check out something else let's say if I say span colon let me first change the contextual selector type to be a compound and then I'm gonna say span and then let's say mm, span in fact let me say paragraph first line okay uh, this is self-explanatory guys uh, if if there's a paragraph the first line should have a specific rule applied to it let me say okay and uh, the first line of the paragraph let's say should have a font style of italic and I'm gonna say okay let's test it out so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a paragraph so this is a para okay and uh, if I want to break the line I should put a line break here br forward slash break and this is some text okay guys as you can notice that only the first line of the spara is italicized not the second one all very good wonderful let's see what else can we do with the compound rules I'm gonna click on the plus button guys and this time let me change the contextual selector type to be a compound and uh, then I'm, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do is uh, let's say a span and then Mm, span colon let my selection be a span colon first child okay so basically I'm telling that if uh, there is a span tag and it has a uh, rather I'm gonna change the span to uh, a okay so if there is a, a link element or a link uh, an anchor tag and it is the first child of its parent then let it behave in a certain manner which will be defined via the rule let's say it should have uh, a color of uh, a 060 green color say okay I think this will become very clear through an example let me s type some text here so this is some text and some more text okay so what I've done is guys I have created I've, I've typed a line here which is inside the p tag the para tag okay so this some text is inside the para tag so the paragraph tag is then the parent what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create uh, two links so I'm gonna select the word sum and uh, in the properties put a pound sign to make it a link okay and then select more and in the properties below put a pound sign here as well hit enter so guys what has happened here is this word sum and uh, the word more both of them are now links and they both reside inside the p tag or the para tag okay now this sum this word sum is the first child of the parent paragraph okay then according to the rule that I've just created it should have a color of a hash or a pound sign 060 or green color but guys as you can notice it has the blue color that's because guys I'm not in the live view now if I click on the live view button the moment I do that guys notice that the color of the font has actually changed itself to a green color all very nice wonderful guys this is part one of compound rules please join me uh, in part two